If you're the average person and you think about a portal, you're thinking about what you might encounter in a story or in a movie where you're about to go to some strange new world because you're going to be traveling through space and time. But for a particle physicist, when we use the word portal, it's figurative. We're looking for new ways that the matter we know and understand that makes up our universe might interact with the dark matter that makes up the majority of our universe, which we don't understand. When the stories about my research first came out, it actually coincided with the release of a very popular TV show called Stranger Things. I think for a lot of people, they, they could draw these very strong parallels between what was happening in the show, um, where we're opening portals to other dimensions, and, and my research. Um, and so actually, I was contacted a lot by people who wanted to volunteer to go into the other dimension and, and explore. But that's, that's not what my research is about. We're looking for the possibility that a neutron can go through a wall. And we just have basically a tube with a, a blocked end. And so this neutron goes through this tube in the middle of this magnet, and we expect that all neutrons should just be stopped. And so if you see anything on the other side, the neutrons must have had some way, some portal that allowed them to pass through. So the question I get the most is, were we successful in opening the portal? And unfortunately, no, we did not find any evidence of parallel universes or, or new interactions with, with the neutron and the dark sector. But of course, it's still possible that the neutrons are turning into dark matter in a way our experiment wasn't sensitive to, so we are still planning more sensitive searches um, and more in future experiments at the high flux isotope reactor.